Zak Baruch, good morning, Botai, Shabbat Tov. There is a very, very famous machloket uh, rishonim about when writing tefillin, the placement of the parashiot in the tefillin. We know that there are four parashiot in the tefillin. Uh, both, I mean, tefillin shel rosh, there are four compartments. In tefillin shel yad, there's also four parashiot, but they're just written on one roll. There's a machloket how to place them in the tefillin. According to Rashi and the Rambam and many other rishonim, it's placed in the order that they're written in the Torah, which is, Kadeshli, you start from the left of the Meneach, which is the leftmost compartment, Kadeshli, Ve'ayakibiyacha, which are both in Parashat Bo, then Shema, which is in Parashat Bait Hanan, then Ve'ayayim Shamoa, which is in Parashat Aikid. That's the opinion of Rashi and the Rambam. Very famously, Rabbi Nutam, in Masech and Menachot, disagrees. Rabbi Nutam says, Havayot Be'yachad, which means Ve'ayaz have to go together. Which means, according to Rabbi Nutam, the placement is as follows. It goes, Kadeshli, Vehaya Kibiyacha, Vehaya in Shamoa, and lastly, Shema Yisrael. Out of the order that it's written in the Torah. Now, even according to Rabbi Nutam, make no mistake, it's got to be written in the order, the parashiot, both Shel Yad and Shel Rosh, have to be written in the order that it's written in the Torah. But in terms of placement, it's placed with the Havayot back to back. Marana Shulchan Aruch, in Siman La Medalit, brings down both opinions, and he says that the halakha and the minhag follows that of Rashi and the Rambam. That's the halakha, that's why we only make a bracha on, we call it filin shel Rashi, which it's, it's not only Rashi, there's many other Rishonim that hold it. But, the Shulchan Aruch does say, that Yerushamayim yaniach shenehim. We'll speak about Be'ezat Hashem uh, later on in the week, the proper way to place both of them, but the Shulchan Aruch says that Yerushamayim should put on both of them to be yotze, both shitot. Now, interestingly enough, the Shulchan Aruch also says, Lo ela mi which means only a person who is known to be a big tzaddik v'chassid should put on tefillin shir benutam. Otherwise, it looks like a little bit of gava. Otherwise, he's not worthy for it. That's the opinion of Shulchan Aruch. Maran Achida, in a Sefer Birke Yosef, on the Salachar Shulchan Aruch, and many other great poskim and mekubanim disagree with the Shulchan Aruch, and they say no. That's not the halacha. The halacha is that nowadays, even, even for people, regular people, regular people who are shomer Torah mitzvot, even if they're not known to be mefursam b'chassidut, they should also make sure to put on tefillin shel Rabbeinu Tam because of the importance of there, according to Rabbeinu Tam, if you, if you put on tefillin shel Rashi, you're not yotze. It's so important, even if a person's not muhzak b'chassidut, and that seems to be the minhag of kimat all the sfaradim, Mekubalim, Hasidim, besides for Ashkenazim, Ashkenazim Litaim, they don't put on because they follow Kedat Agra, who's not, who doesn't, uh, who's not Makpit to do Kedat Rabbeinu Tam. But all the Sfaradim and all the Hasidim, they're all Makpit Kedat Rabbeinu Tam. Not only that, there's many poskim who say, let's say, again, today it's not, uh, it's not so common, Baruch Hashem, but let's say a person's very poor, doesn't have money, and can only afford one thing. Either, let's say he, said he has a very limited amount of money, he can only, obviously, tefillin she Rashi has to buy, that's ikaradim. But now he can only afford one thing. He can either buy a talit, or he can buy tefillin she Rabbeinutam. Not both. One or, one or the other. Now what's that? Obviously, tefillin is more expensive than talit. But let's say the, the question is, he has money right now for a talit. If he spends it, that's it. Or he can say, you know what, I won't spend the money now for a talit. I'll save up more to buy tefillin she Rabbeinutam. Many poskim, Agoni al Yosef brings down Siman Medalit, rule that a person should forego, a person should not buy the talit, a person should walk around without a, without a talit and save up to buy davka tefillin shir benutam. Why? Because over there tefillin is mitzvah kiyumit. You don't have to wear tzitzit, you don't have to wear talit. If you have a four-cornered begid, then you put tzitzit on it. But tefillin is mitzvah chiyuvit. You have to go out and buy tefillin. Rabbi Nutam is not alone in the shita. There's tens of Rishonim that hold like Rabbi Nutam in the placement of the Tefillin. And therefore, that's just to show the importance, according to many poskim, spend the money davka al Tefillin Shabbat Nutam and not on Talit. Bezat Hashem in the coming days, by the way, Manan Tzachon Bracha was a very big proponent of Tefillin Shabbat Nutam. His entire life, he used to say, he used to push people, even simple people, even regular people, to buy Tefillin Shabbat Nutam to, to put it on. Now he says, he used to say, yeah, in Olam Abba, there's going to be a lot of yeshivot. A lot of yeshivot. Who's going to be the Rosh Yeshiva? You're going to have Moshe Rabbeinu, you're going to have Rabbi, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, you're going to have Rashi, Rabbi Nutam. A person, what's Olam Abba going to be? You're going to run around from one yeshiva to another to hear shiurim from all the Gedolei Olam. He says, in Olam Abba, a person's going to try to gain access 
to Yeshivat Rabbeinu Tam. Rabbeinu Tam has a yeshiva. You try to go over there to, to listen to the shiur. There's going to be a guard over there. He says, a person who didn't wear tefillin shel Rabbeinu Tam, the guard at the, at the yeshiva of Rabbeinu Tam is going to tell him, you can't come in here. He says, why? He says, you never wore tefillin. He says, what do you mean? I never wore, wore tefillin in my whole life. He says, no, you never wore tefillin. He says, oh. he says what do you mean? Huh? So he says, according to me, Shitat Rashin Tfilin is wrong. So he never wore Tfilin. So for that reason, he said it He said it as a joke, but he says you have to be very careful. That's not the reason why you should put it on, but it's a very, very important component in Mitzvah Tfilin. Bezat Hashem will continue in the following days. Yom Tov.